Hello Earth Signs, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. And it could be about pretty much anything. Love, finances, friendship, trips, whatever comes up. We'll have four separate spreads in this reading. The first spread is for all Earth Signs, it's like a bonus, and then there's going to be a separate uh, spread for every Earth Sign individually. Timestamps should be in the description box down below. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is for all um, Earth signs. We have uh, the Hangman, clarified by the Four of Swords. We have the King of Swords. Uh, then we have the Six of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. And uh, we also have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, an Air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Pisces, and um, we have you, <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It almost feels like somebody was taking a break and then they remembered someone, right? Um, and uh, it could have been this King of Swords who was kind of laying down, taking a break, and they were, and they had the, this epiphany, this light bulb moment, or it could have been you, right? And uh, it has something to do with this King of Swords. So the King of Swords is most likely an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. Uh, if they're not an air sign, it could be like a lawyer, a professor, somebody who is very intelligent. The Hangman, clarified by the Four of Swords, this is where that aha moment is, right? The Hangman could be a light bulb moment, or an epiphany. The Four of Swords clarifying it, perhaps some, somebody had a dream, or somebody was just laying down, somebody was taking a break, and they were like, oh my god, remember that King of Swords? Or, you know, this King of Swords could have been, oh my god, remember this earth sign? Okay, because this is definitely somebody from your past. Right next to the King of Swords we have that Six of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So the Six of Cups is a card of somebody from the past, not necessarily a love interest, it could just be someone from the past. Somebody who remembered you, or so, or you remembered this King of Swords. And uh, as a result of that, the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles will be produced. <laughs> it is an offer. Those two cards even kind of look alike, right? In the Knight of Pentacles, the, per the person uh, riding a horse is holding up a pentacle. That's, I think, exactly the pentacle we see in the Ace of Pentacles. So in the Ace of Pentacles, we're zooming in on that, so it's an offer. It's an offer. Could be a work related, business related, friendship related, love related, what have you. Okay? And uh, I don't know if this offer is going to be accepted, but I, I know that it's not going to be denied right away. <laughs> okay? So maybe, you know, like I said, it doesn't have to be about love. Maybe you remember it's somebody who can help you with work, somebody who can help you with business, somebody who can do something for you with, with finances in mind or it could be the other way around and perhaps the offer will come after the weekend because we are taking a, a break <laughs> during the weekend alright but uh, yeah the offer is legit the offer is very serious as a matter of fact it's as serious as it gets if it is a love offer then yeah somebody wants to get like as serious as possible alright cool Taurus. Um, we have the Eight of Swords, clarified by the world. Uh, we have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Six of Swords. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And uh, we also have the Moon on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, maybe a Pisces or a Sagittarius or absolutely any zodiac sign. You don't have to be dealing with anybody, uh, Taurus. This spread could be interpreted so, so many different ways. I'm going to try. I'm going to give you as many scenarios as I can think of. It feels like you could be solving a puzzle. You know, for some of you, literally, you could be solving a puzzle literally. <laughs> for others of you, you could be uh, finding a way to get out of some sort of a situation or finding a way to get out of some sort of a predicament. All right, you, your living situation is, could, could be changing over the weekend. Maybe you're moving, you're relocating, okay? Um, yeah, let me explain a little further. We have the moon on the bottom of the deck, could be a Pisces here again, but the moon could be a card of fear. It's one of the most emotional cards in the deck. The moon could also be a card of uh, the uh, dark night, a uh, dark time of the day, and by that I mean night, because <laughs> the moon comes out at night, right? And uh, it could also be a card of like, just being like really emotional, not knowing, 
uh, what's gonna happen or not knowing what to do you know that type of energy the eight of swords the first card that came out it could be a card of somebody and in this case you being stuck and trapped for some of you because uh, maybe your living situation is is bad and you're you've been stuck there it could be you literally trying to solve a puzzle or you're just again as I was just saying um, you're just not sure what to do it's a card of thinking or overthinking okay um, but the good news is that whatever that eight of swords and the moon represent in your case they're coming to an end right the world clarifying the eight of swords is a card of an ending and I always interpret it as a happy end card this is when one chapter of your life comes to an end and a much better happier chapter of your life is about to begin and the, the wheel of fortune right next to the deck is the start of a new cycle all right, then both by the both the world and the will of fortune could be interpreted as cards of travel, right? Because the world could be someplace remote, and the will of fortune could be a card of travel. And uh, the six of swords, clarifying the six of wands, the six of swords could also be a card of a travel. If it's if there is no travel involved, if there is no relocation involved, then the six of swords is simply talking about a rough patch being over, or you moving out of choppy waters towards calmer waters. Right, and uh, this is basically you moving out of that Eight of Swords slash the Moon cards energy out of that. You're moving out of that, moving towards something better. So some of you are solving a puzzle, <laughs> others of you are finding a way out. Um, and the, the Six of Wands is a card of victory and success, right? It's a card of feeling good about what's going on and about yourself. So yeah, something is coming to an end, and uh, you've got uh, calmer war quarters ahead of you. I hope this makes sense. All right, cool. For go, we have uh, the Two of Swords, clarified by the Lovers. We have the Fool, clarified by the Hermit. <laughs> we have the Chariot, and uh, the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You're gonna be dealing with a Gemini, uh, Aries. Cancer, maybe even another Virgo. To be or not to be, that is gonna be the question, Virgo. For you or for maybe someone else. All right, and I think the answer is to be. Okay. <laughs> So we start with the Two of Swords, clarified by the Lovers. Though both of those two cards could be talking about having to make a choice, right? Both of them could be interpreted as such. The Lovers is also a Gemini a major kind of card, and uh, we're in the in the Gemini uh, birthday season right now. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini, um, but both of those two cards are choice cards, all right? So to be or not to be. The Fool, clarified by the Hermit. I think the answer is to be. <laughs> <laughs> the Hermit is your major arcana card, Virgo, and the Fool uh, is a card of taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, just trying something new, going for it, doing it. And uh, the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck often comes across the word yes. The Chariot right next to the deck is a card of maybe literally going somewhere or moving forward. Alright, uh, the chariot could also be a card of a transportation. Perhaps what you're doing right now, you're looking at two different cars. You're thinking of buying a new car and you're looking at two cars and you're gonna choose one of them, you know. Or you could be looking at two, like, vacation destinations, right? And uh, here in the United States, this is, the, this is a long weekend. And uh, maybe you're thinking about where I want to go for this long weekend. You know you're gonna be stuck in traffic, <laughs> but you're still gonna go. Maybe you're looking at destinations with the less traffic or something like that and the, but the answer is still yes with an ace of swords unless you change your mind all right cool capricorn uh, we have the six of swords clarified by the ace of wands uh, we have the three of cups the will of fortune and uh, the page of cups on the bottom of the deck uh, you're gonna be dealing uh, with any zodiac sign well uh, capricorn it's good. You're gonna have a really fun weekend, or at least one day or one night. Okay, <laughs> I think you're going to some kind of a party, all right, and uh, it's gonna be a fun, fun party. Okay, so here's the deal: we got the page of cups on the bottom of the deck. It is an invitation, or maybe you're the one who is throwing a party. It, it is a long weekend here in the United States. I know people. A lot of people are gonna be doing picnics, barbecues, what have you. All right, maybe it's someone's birthday. And um, we start with the uh, Six of Swords, but it's clarified by the Ace of Wands, all right? The Six of Swords could be a card of literally going somewhere, and I think that's exactly what it is. The Ace of Wands is the most passionate ace out of all four aces. You could be getting all fired up, all passionate about going to this party, going to this event. 
or just going <laughs> or it, the, the Ace of Wands could be about a particular type of passion if you know what I mean wink wink all right the three of cups in the middle that's where you're going it is a card of a party all right it could be someone's birthday or barbecue or picnic or what have you okay and uh, the Wheel of Fortune right next to the deck um, it's also a card of travel it could also be in interpreted as a card of literally going somewhere but it's also a card of starting a cycle right if you're going to a birthday party maybe it's this birthday boys birthday girls new year new cycle starting for them or if you meet somebody uh, at that party if you get to know somebody better if you get cozy with somebody maybe it's a start of a cycle between you and this uh, person okay but I do see you having a lot of fun <laughs> all kinds of fun all right cool